I'm gonna tell you five things that most content creators are overlooking, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so the very first thing that a lot of content creators are overlooking is the importance of your presentation. It doesn't matter what type of content that you're making, if you are not presenting in a way that's relatable to a certain demographic of people, then you're gonna have a hard time. There's a lot of importance, a lot of weight, so to speak, on making sure that your presentation is solid. What I mean by that is your on-camera presence. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that how you are communicating, how your voice is coming through, how you're actually acting, how you look, when you're on camera is something that is going to connect with a certain demographic of people. Number two is blame. A lot of people are putting tons of blame. A lot of small channels specifically are putting tons of blame on YouTube for not growing the way that they should be. Instead of saying, hey, maybe my thumbnails are not as good as they should be because I haven't tested and I don't know. Or instead of saying, hey, maybe my videos aren't as good as I think they are because I haven't looked at my audience retention reports to actually see how people are responding to my videos. Maybe I don't get into my stats enough to actually figure out what it is that I'm making that people are or are not responding to. A lot of people, instead of going that route, they wanna put the blame on YouTube or they wanna put the blame on all these external factors, but in reality, in a lot of cases, it actually comes down to you. It comes down to the content that you're creating, it comes down to the value that you're adding to the people that are watching your videos, and in some cases, and yeah, we'll just say a lot of cases, it actually comes down to how you're actually making that content that you're putting out for people. Number three is Caring too much about how other people perceive the amount of time that you put into making the content that you make. At the end of the day, nobody cares if you spend 10 minutes on a video or if you spend 12 hours on a video. What they care about is that end product, what it is that they feel, what it is that they like or don't like when they're actually watching the content. Nobody cares how long you spent making that content. It could have taken you a week to put it together and to you that matters because it's your time, of course. But to the people that are actually watching your videos, to them it doesn't matter because they're there for their experience. They're not there for yours and because of that, you, it doesn't even matter how much you go around the internet talking about, well, YouTube should be promoting my content more. I spend eight hours making my videos. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares about that except for you. And I understand, again, that that's an important thing because it's your time, but at the end of the day, how much time you spend before your upload doesn't necessarily equate to how you're gonna get promoted within the platform or how people are gonna to respond to your content in general. Number four, constantly contesting everything that you see in here. I see tons of people, it seems to be more on Reddit than anywhere, but I see tons of people all over the internet talking about, oh, well, this person says this, but it, it's not working, or this person says this, but it, it, you know, I think it's this way. What it really comes down to is if you're actually testing what works or not. You know, what you think, at the end of the day, what you think has no bearing on what is actually going to happen with your content. What you think isn't going to isn't going to make the algorithm respond differently. It's not gonna make the viewers respond differently in terms of what you think about what does or doesn't work or how things should be or whatever. There is how things are, and then there's how you think things should be. Instead of operating in the world of how you think things should be, you're going to get much bigger results if you focus on how things are and how things work and how you can actually tap into what's going on and how things actually are. Number five is convincing yourself that you're putting in tons of effort into what it is that you're doing when in reality, you're not. What I mean by that is this, I get tons of people in my comment sections, I get tons of people that come into my live streams and they talk about, Nick, I'm doing everything that you talk about but nothing seems to be working. And then I go and I look at their channel, literally just at a glance, the very base, basic, fundamental things that I try to inform people of, they're not doing. They're not taking the effort to actually apply any of the stuff that they're learning. They're saying, okay, I'm taking the information that you have shared and I'm hearing the information. Maybe I, it even makes sense and maybe that's something that I plan to implement in the future, but as of right now, a lot of people are not actually taking action on the information that they're getting from me and other creators like me that will help you grow your YouTube channel. At the end of the day, if you want results in anything, you have to take action. You have to make sure that you are putting in that effort. Day in, day out, you're taking small steps towards a big 
goal towards a big accomplishment. Every day, you're putting in that work, you're putting in those little tiny details that end up making an awesome bigger picture. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.